man, kicking their Bass TV's videos and Instagram posts are just so amazing. I just, whoa, what, whoa, what's going on, guys? Uh, welcome to another video. I didn't see you guys there. Um, yeah, we got another episode today, guys. Thank you guys so much for clicking onto this one. We're doing something a little bit different now, something that's usually not on my channel. And I'm very excited about it because I'm trying to experiment, guys. I'm really trying to experiment with different YouTube videos, like different styles of fishing you know we started kayak fishing we started red fishing we started live bait fishing so we, we've been trying a lot of different things and I'm I've noticed I've had a lot of fun just because it's not your standard old you know let's go out let's go catch a bass or let's go to a bass fishing tournament this this and that well today we're gonna be using micro lures to go catch some crappie some bluegill sunfish bass whatever really bites honestly but with little micro lures that would be used for like crappie or bluegill so this is my first crappie or bluegill video so welcome and uh Congrats that you guys are gonna be the first ones to see one of these on my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking onto this. If you guys are not subscribed and don't know who if you guys are not subscribed and don't know who I am, be sure to click that subscribe button, click the notification bell right next to it, and uh yeah. So this is the first problem today, boys and girls. I I'm I'm obviously gonna be using the standard old just my little spinning rod that I use for bass fishing. I'm not I don't have like a little crappie or a bluegill rod at the moment so we're just going to be going on along with this guy but first i actually have a knot in my line for some reason i don't see it maybe it's am i just blind there was a knot in my line yesterday i promise you i promise you there was a knot in my line yesterday i know i'm not freaking out right now well, never mind. We don't have to do that. Never mind. Cut that. Cut that clip right there. I am so confused. All right, we're just gonna roll with it. I'll come back to you when the helicopter comes by. All right. So let me show you guys what I'm working with today, as in bait-wise, since the knot just magically disappeared. I, I don't know why, but I'm not going to complain because now I don't have to do a leader. I was going to show you guys how to do like a uni to uni knot to braid the fluorocarbon. If you guys want to see a video on that, you guys let me know. We're going to talk about what baits we're going to be throwing today. So I stopped by Walmart yesterday and I was like, man, this is my first time crappie and uh, pan fishing. So this is something new to me. I don't have any lures. I don't have this. So I just got some of these little uh, crappie jig heads. These are a little bit heavier than I usually would get for a fish like you know a crappie or a bluegill in the shallow water in these ponds that we're gonna be fishing today but I need to be able to throw it on this deer here old bass rig right here so that's what we're gonna have to go with I actually have one already on my rod and that's a little lighter one I think that's like 1 16th ounce and these are 1 8th so these are twice the size of those and then I have some of these Bobby Garland crappie baits right here this is uh these are called baby shads I got two of them one of them's called Blue Thunder, and then one of them's called the Electric Chicken. Kind of cool, I like that. Like electric Chicken. So let me show you guys the colors I got. So this is the old Electric Chicken right here. You got a little bit of a pink on the top, and then you got some little chartreuse greenish sparkle flakiness on the bottom. That one looks like it's going to be juicy. I, I really like that. Then you got this little like bluish shad color right here. It's got some gray on the bottom, black on top, and then it's got some little speckly specks. Um, of blue and silver on top as well. Since we have one like light, light color and one dark color, and figure out really what these fish are going to eat today. Hopefully, we're going to catch them. I've never done this before, so it's going to be interesting. Let's get started. So you know that little first time feeling you get. You know you're never gone. Say say we're going shark fishing or something. You never gone shark fishing, and you're just excited. Well, I am very excited today because I've never used like artificial lures for crappie and bluegill. Be honest, I didn't even want to make. That always happens every time I get in the car. But um, I've just never caught any on artificial bait, so I'm just very excited if we just catch like a couple i'm gonna be very happy i just want to come do it and just try some new things man i love trying new things and to see that i'm like broadening you know everything i'm doing with fishing and you know fishing for other species and this this and that that whole deal i'm gonna wave at this lady she probably wonders why i'm holding up a camera but i did not care we're just gonna get to that pond i'm gonna shut up and i hope you guys enjoy this episode of kicking their bass tv ha kicking their um Kicking their crappie TV or kicking their kicking their uh, bluegill TV, kicking their bass TV, kicking. There's a lot of different things I can name this channel. Well, it actually just started raining and it said it was not going to rain today. That is just our luck, right? Uh, right when we decided to come film, we got about an hour and a half till dark. So that is what we're going to do: is spend that hour and a half fishing, whether it's raining or not. I usually don't film in the rain. I don't think it's going to get bad. I think it's just going to be a little bit of sprinkling. 
Hopefully. That that is hopefully what's gonna happen. And hopefully we can catch some slabs. The first pond that we're gonna start off with is one that I actually fished fishing with live bait video, which I posted yesterday two days ago two days ago if you guys haven't checked that one out be sure to go check it out it is a fire video i catch a absolute shalanch donkey in that video on live bait so but we started off in this pond i caught a slab of a bluegill so we're gonna go try to catch some donkeys some donkey bluegill some donkey crappy whatever the heck bites my lure and uh, we're gonna give it a try so let's go ahead and get out there man am i excited first time bluegill fishing so we're starting off with this little white squiggly deal this little pre uh this little pre-made uh crappie head right here let's see if we can get something rolling rocking and rolling today i'm so pumped for this you guys have no idea it's so weird because i'm like fishing for these little tiny things but i feel like if i catch a big one since i was actually fishing for like that type of fish i feel like very excited we need an old big belly bluegill big belly bluegill come on big big boy <laughs> It's a bass. Are you kidding me? We're, we're bluegill fishing today, boys, and we just catch a bass. Look at that. That is awesome on that little micro lure. Look how small that fish is. That That is amazing. He's very cold. I can tell you that. That is just awesome. And I never get to catch bass this small. <laughs> I do every once in a while, don't lie. But <laughs> that is awesome, man. That is awesome for the first fish of the day. We've only been out here for probably two or three minutes. Maybe it's not what we're looking for but we are using these little micro lures and i was planning on catching you know a little bit of everything but that is awesome first little fish is a baby bass i mean baby i'd say he's about five inches that is awesome people first fish let's get him back in the water first baby bass of the day a little pretty guy Whoa. all right he was really yeah he was ready to go <laughs> let's freaking go baby first fish of the day on the little white grub the the white grub got it done for the old bass let's see but let's see if we can catch a bluegill this time. Let's see if we can get a variety going. So we got a bass checked off the list. Maybe we'll catch us a little bluegill or something. God, that's money. That's about to get it done. I feel it. Yep. There he is. And it's a bluegill. I can see. No, it's a bass. Oh, he came off. No, it was a bass. Is this is this a micro bass fishing challenge right now, ain't it? I knew there was gonna be a fish right there. Let's see if there's another one. Oh my God, that's a bass. He slammed that thing. He ain't big, he's way bigger than that last one though. Holy smokes, look at that, it's gone. Oh my gosh, in the back of his throat, look at that, a little micro bass. That's awesome right there, people straight awesomeness but i'd really like to catch a brim right now but uh, i will take him little baby bass little micro bass on that micro lure that's, that's sweet it's awesome thanks for biting buddy wow what is this another bass oh wait is that a bass that is a bass Man, oh man, I think we might have to change the title of this video, boys. <laughs> if it keeps turning out this way, this is the fourth bass I've hooked. It is so cool to catch them this small, though, honestly. Like, you know when you're bass fishing, you're, you're obviously hunting for a really big bass, and that's, like, your main goal usually most of the time. But you kind of realize now when you switch over to these small baits that there's a lot of fish that, you know, would like to eat and that are still aggressive like the big ones. But you just have to put, you know, the right size bait in front of them. And that's exactly what this shows right here. That is honestly awesome. That is that is great. This is actually a lot of fun. I'm having a lot more fun than I thought it was. But this is the third bass. Zero brim, zero crappie. Third bass right here. Please bite again. I have three bites. There he is. Got him. That's a bass. Oh. All right, all right, Noah, calm down. Well, it was a bass, but I'm fine with that. You know, as long as we're catching fish, I'm fine. I really want a bluegill. I really thought he was a bluegill, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna throw back in there. I think there's multiple fish. I don't think that was just that guy biting. Oh, he came off, but he slammed it. Maybe he'll come back for it. Yep. Oh man, another bass. That's a big one. Or not a big one, but the biggest bass today. I think this is a micro bass fishing, guys. I really do. It's like my fifth or sixth bass. It's just insane. That's the biggest one today. It's just crazy. We are just whacking the bass. Well, kicking the bass TV tips right here. If you can't get a bite, just throw a baby grub for some bluegill and catch some bass. Alright. There it goes. It's like a little creek rolling in here. 
man there's some fish at the mouth of this i gotta figure out how to fish it because there's trees all around but there is definitely some fish sitting there maybe even a big bass oh my god decent bass i couldn't even hook set oh yeah baby picked it up right away he knew exactly what he wanted that's the best one yet look you want to see this trick right here we're just gonna pull our line and then simply walk back oh that is the chunkiest bass oh my gosh look at the stomach wait till you guys see this hold up look at the freaking stomach on this little guy look at the little fat look at that that is crazy and you have been eating, haven't you? That's the best bass today, though. I can tell you that. He's been eating just right here by where this little creek flowing in right here. You got him a little fat bass right here. I just flipped in there. He had it right away by the time it hit the bottom. Just had it right in his mouth. That's awesome. Let's get him back in the water. All right, buddy. Thanks for biting. Still no blue yell. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to freak out. So we're leaving the first pond right now. And we had a bunch of unexpected catches. Like, I believe that I was going to catch some bass today. I just didn't believe I was going to catch that many. And we caught, like, six there, which is very surprising. So we're going to move to a different spot. That was, like, my one spot that I had that I was like, you know what? There's probably some blue or a good bit of bluegill that are actually pretty good size in there. That's why I wanted to fish there. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do now. We're going to go drive around. Maybe go to that pond where I was catching those golden shiners, those huge ones. I don't know if they'll even bite. I don't know if they'll bite this, but I know there's some bass or um, bluegill or something in there that would possibly eat this that are micro sized. So that was actually a lot of fun. I, I had a lot of fun doing that, but it is not over. We're going to continue because we are on the hunt for a different catch rather than just a bass. I go bass fishing. I can't catch a bass and then I go crappie and bluegill fishing and catch a bass. I do not multiple bass like six fish. I have no idea what's going on. Uh oh. What is this? It's a freaking bass. Not a surprise at all. It was a surprise at the beginning, but now it's just getting to the point to where I don't even think I can catch anything else but a bass on this thing. Well, I think we found out the new secret when the bass is tough. That that fish almost looks like a smallmouth with the colors on them. That's kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. Little micro bass number freaking 5,000. Yep, he's got it again. Oh, oh my gosh, a bass. That's a, Jesus, that's a decent one. The electric chicken, he just gobbled that thing up. Look at that. That is awesome right there. Golly, that is awesome. Look at him choke that thing. That's the best bass today by far. Well, there we go. The first fish on the electric chicken right there. And that's a little old bass. I don't know if he breaks a pound, but you know, that is the biggest fish today by far. First fish on the electric chicken. And I believe I got a bluegill bite right before I caught him. I just believe it was. So there's probably going to be some fish back in this corner. Oh my God. He's still on? That's a bass. That is the smallest bass. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. This this is probably by far to date the smallest bass I think I've ever caught. Maybe they're not bluegill. Maybe they're just this small. Look, I mean, look at it compared to the bait. You guys know this is a 1 16th ounce jig head. That is unbelievable. Look at that baby bass. Let's get a release on this guy. Guys, this is micro fishing at its best. Look how small this bass is. Beautiful colors on him. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes. I haven't got to throw all the way in there yet. There we go. Oh my God, I just had a bass eat me. All right. Well, he ate it right off that pipe right away. I, I watched it as it hit the water. Golly, guys, I think this is bass number 12 today. This is just unbelievable how many we're catching. And they seem to love the electric chicken. We should have been throwing that earlier. But I do believe that we've just found them stacked up here. Let's see if there's another one on this pipe that's gonna eat. Well, I don't know if you guys just heard that. Someone just yelled kicking their bass at me. I am kicking their bass right now. I should be kicking their crappie, but I'm kicking their bass right now. And I don't want to be kicking their bass right now. I really want to be kicking their brim or kicking their... Do we have it? It's a freaking bass. It's a freaking bass, people. Kicking their bass right here, coming at you. You can catch all the micro fish all day long that we want, except crappie and bluegill. Oh man, I just spooked a fish. Oh my God, I got a giant. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? The electric chicken. Look at the freaking size of that thing. It's a solid three. He feels huge, I can tell you that one. We have to land this guy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on, baby. 
Come here. Come here. Come here, baby! <laughs> that is bigger than a three. Look at that. On the electric chicken, barely. <laughs> Look at that freaking fatty. That is a fat winter bass on the electric chicken. Look how fat he is. That is a football. All right, today's video is amazing. This is amazing, people. Look at that freaking fish. This one deserves a selfie or something now, man. He needs some love, too. What a way to end off the day. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, what are you doing, man? You guys need to follow me now. Freaking big bass on the electric chicken. That is the fish right there. Absolute brute. I mean, look at him. That is a solid three and a half pounder with a fat stomach on him. Let's get him back in the water on the electric chicken. Oh, that was freaking awesome. If you guys think I want to stop fishing after that, you were absolutely crazy. We just caught a solid three and a half pound bass on the electric chicken crappie bait. That is unbelievable. When I saw him swirl when I landed there and noticed that he had it, I about had a heart attack. So I understood that that was a big fish. <sighs> That is amazing. Pepper this like button up, people, but we are not gonna stop. We're gonna throw a few more casts. Let's see if we can hook one even bigger. And, and of course, you know, catch the bluegill, you know, we, we gotta catch the bluegill, right? You will not believe it. The electric chicken. Is this gonna become a new meme on the channel? Like Lemon Pepper did? The electric chicken meme? That is insane. I caught a freaking giant on the electric chicken. Are you kidding me? Another good one. Oh, that's a crappie. Is it a crappie? It's a giant crappie. Come on, baby. We need this. This will complete the video. Back to back. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I, my day is made, guys. My day is made. Back to back cast. We catch a three pound bass and then a crappie, which is the goal of this video is to catch bluegill and crappie. And we made it happen and caught a three and a half pound bass and about 12 smaller micro bass. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at that slab. Oh, that's sweet, guys. I'm so mind blown right now. Look at that, that's a pretty decent crappie right there. That is what we came here for today. And we just made it happen in two casts, a giant bass and a solid crappie right here. This has been an amazing video, guys, amazing day. I am so glad to share it with you. Oh, this is awesome. Look at him jump. Is a tarpon, is a plane, oh! There he goes. You know what would make this video, guys? I just threw two casts back to back. A huge fatty winter bass, a huge crappie in the next cast. What would make this video is if I, on the third cast, if I catch a freaking bluegill, that would li Are you kidding me? Oh my God. It's another giant crappie. <laughs> that could make it even better. It's just it can't stop. It just cannot stop, guys. This video just cannot get any worse. This is amazing. I will take them. We are really making it happen right now. They love the electric chicken. This is a video, guys. I love this. This is probably one of the best times I've had in a while. Three casts. We caught a three and a half pounder and two crappie back to back. We finally found some in where they live. Oh, that is sweet. Let's get him back in the water. We're going to go for the fourth cast, see if we can catch four fish and four casts. All right, crappie, thank you so much for biting. I've had an excellent time today. Golly, this is awesome. There he goes. Oh, man, can we make it five, four casts and four fish? Uh-oh. Are you? That is a slab of a crappie. That is a freaking slab. <laughs> he choked it all the way in the back. Are you kidding me? Can I even get this out? I got pliers in my truck if I have to get them. That is, you see that right there, guys? That's an exact definition of something trying to eat him right there. Giant slab right here, guys. This is awesome. I just went right back behind his gills with my hands. That is a slab. I think that's the biggest one, or maybe the first one's the biggest. This is unbelievable, guys. I, <laughs> I cannot talk right now. Thank you guys so much. Oh man, imagine putting him on a sandwich. But guess what, buddy? We like to let you guys go and grow. Look at that baby. Oh, this is just amazing. This is so awesome. Oh, it's so addicting too. Those crappies. I've never just sat here and caught three crappie in a few casts. I've never really done it before. This is so fun. What a freaking day. That, that was, I'm speechless guys. I'm speechless. I just had the 
probably one of the best times I've ever had fishing. Not gonna lie, it, it was just the excitement of catching something different, I think. And like noticing that I was going out there just catching all those small micro bass. And all of a sudden, you know, just catch like a big three and a half pounder, super fat. And then the next two casts were two slabs of crappie. Like, come on now, that you can't get better than that. And it was just so, such an unexpected, you know, catch right there. And it was such a great time. I'm so happy that you guys got to come along with me and watch this trip. If you guys want me to do this again, because I really want to, like, really bad. So if you guys want to do, if you guys want me to do it again, be sure to smash that like button. Please do that for me. That would mean a lot. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I'm Noah, and uh, smash that subscribe button and also the little bell right next to it. I actually have to hop on some phone calls right now. I'm with some sponsors, and then later tonight, I'm actually rebranding my whole website, getting a whole new clothing line launched. I haven't even said that to you guys on a video yet so stay stay tuned for that keep your eyes peeled and i'll catch you guys at the next video